is an invoice, meaning customer cycle now. Now we're in the customer cycle as opposed to the vendor cycle, turn around an invoice. Music stuff store, I think it was. Is that who we are inventory? Music, music, music stuff store or something like that. Some crazy name that I came up. Why is this showing here? Music stuff, new music stuff. And there it goes. I had to log out and back into it, but I typed in two new music stuff and there, there's the billable item. So I'm gonna pull in the billable item and so now I, I'm, this is an invoice. So I, I, if I was to send it to him, I would need the email, but I'm not going to add it for the practice problem terms. And let's say the date is let's keep that date. That's fine. And then down here, it has populated the SQ Squire and you got the number correct. But note that if I type down here an SQ Squire, then the sales price is 244. So this, it does everything else properly. It looks like meaning it's a, it's applying it out. Not usually when I use that billable, I, whenever you use the billable item, it, it will on like a utilities expense type of thing. Uh, and you want it to go to an income account. It'll, it'll charge it to its own income account. Like we saw before, this one still seems to, this still seems to work to charge to the income account that the item is going to. And it, it seems to properly do the inventory and decreasing the inventory and the cost of goods sold, but it doesn't seem to pull in the rate correctly. It pulls in the cost, even though we want the sales price. So that's what I'm going to change here. I'm going to say 244 and then I'm going to delete it. So I got to remember to do that little tweak or else it's going to be a problem. All right. So there we have it. All right. So then down below, I'm going to make the change down here for the rate. You could change it. I'm going to make it a generic 5%. You can do it here or I'm going to hit the drop down and I made this 5% just to make it generic and not like a California problem, but just sales tax in general being calculated. And so there we have it. So what's this going to do? It's an invoice. It's going to increase the accounts receivable 5,124 for the full amount plus the sales packs. The other side is going to go to sales, which is driven by this item. It shouldn't be going to just the billable uh, revenue line, which is so, and I think that will happen even though we use the billable thing to pull it in the other side is going to go to sales tax sales tax for the 244 and then inventory will be going down which is uh driven by this item by the cost and the i believe this item will still work even though we did the billable thing to do that and the cost of goods sold will go up net income impact will be revenue minus the cost of goods sold and the inventory in units for the sub ledger will also be going down for the 20 units, which again should work well, I believe, even though we pulled this over with the billable item thing. All right, so let's save it and close it and double check that. Save it and close it.